I'm Joe, and welcome back to the Joe's Hungry Channel, located in my semi-adopted hometown of Fairmount, Georgia. Thank you, everybody, for watching my videos. Thank you for sticking with me. Uh, if you could, give me a thumbs up. Supposedly, it helps the algorithm. A special shout out to Brian B. for your kind words and non trollish suggestions. Today, officially, this is my 300th fast food video. I'd like to celebrate this sweet occasion by checking out Chick-fil-A's new limited time offer, Autumn Spice Milkshake. The Autumn Spice Milkshake, according to Chick-fil-A, is hand spun the old fashioned way, whatever that is, made with Chick-fil-A ice dream dessert, Chick-fil-A's version of soft serve, cinnamon and crunchy bits of brown sugar spice cookies, top of whipped cream and a cherry, except when you get it delivered. And I'm not really sure what they do with it after that. You may notice that they're careful not to say ice cream because soft serve is not ice cream. Each one of these soft serve treats will set your diet back 650 calories. I have the stats on the screen and in the description below. This sweet dish will cost you $4.29 before taxes in Georgia. According to Chick-fil-A's own information, Information. This thing should weigh in at 423 grams or 14.92 ounces. Do the math and it breaks down to a semi-reasonable 28 cents an ounce. I cannot verify any of that until we do the Joe's Hungry weight test. It's time to get my sugar buzz on and roll on over to Chick-fil-A in sunny Calhoun, Georgia. Hi there. Can I get two autumn spice shakes? Will that be all for you? Yeah. It's gonna be 918 up the window. Thanks, sir. You have a great day. Bye. I've got my shake. Let's pull off the side and do the Joe's Hungry ice cream temperature test. Autumn Spice number one comes in at 24.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Autumn Spice number two comes in at 23.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Regular ice cream usually comes in between six and 10 degrees. Soft serve runs in the neighborhood of 21 degrees Fahrenheit. We're relatively close. I haven't done many of these, so I'm gonna give Chick-fil-A a pass on the Joe's Hungry ice cream temperature test. Now it's time to throw these two sweet treats in my portable freezer and head back to the studios and do the Joe's Hungry weight test. Autumn Spice number one weighs in at 13.35 ounces. Autumn Spice Milkshake number two comes in at 14.40 ounces. Both those fall below Chick-fil-A's own posted serving weight of 14.95 ounces, so I have to give them a fail on the Joe's Hungry weight test. Chick-fil-A, little portion control. Add all of those up. Average them out, do the math, and you gain a couple more cents and come out to 31 cents an ounce. Now it's time for the Joe is Hungry Big Reveal. This is what it looks like in its takeout form, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. We've seen what it looks like, we saw how much it was, we saw how it weighed out, not so good, but that really doesn't tell the tale until we do the Joe is Hungry bite test. So it is bite test, engage. It's nice that Chick-fil-A puts this in a styrofoam container so it doesn't melt in 30 seconds. A lesson to be learned, Culver's, 
You listening? A straw or a spoon with the odor? Would have been nice. Probably an oversight. There is an adequate amount of whipped cream. On one of them, the cherry sunk and kind of got lost in the fray. With a little mining expedition, it was found. The shake is light brown and tasty. It's not yucky sweet. I can only taste the slightest hint of cinnamon. The brown sugar spice cookies are crunchy and present and represent the major flavor in the treat. It is very soft, almost to the point of being runny. In spite of being a little short on the weight, it's still not a bad deal. Now it's time to give this thing a score. If y'all don't know my scale, my scale is 1 to 10. 9 being the best anything above 9 is a once in a lifetime experience and almost never achieved. 5 and down is the slippery slope to food hell. Now it's time to give this thing the number that it truly deserves. I'm going to have to go with a 6.7. Not a bad number, not a bad treat. That is my number, that is my review, and hopefully we'll see you in the next video.